champions. Each of you must be excellent players to have made it this far, so congratulations. And now, let's begin our game. Let's do that. What do you think of these first round categories? Well, we'll find out. Ooh. NFL home stadiums. I guess we'll know about that one. Mm. Secret identities. That's a great category. All right, I can do with that. Crossword one. clues, K. Hodgepodge. A little bit of everything. Oh, wow. Cowboy talk. The last category is... We're dealing with... Okay! World geography. I'm good at world geography. Player one will begin with you. But we're going to start with cowboy talk for 200. If you're belly up or strapped on your horse toes down, you're this. That's it. Uh, Cowboy Talk for 400. Western riders refer to the English style of these seats as postage stamps. What are our saddles? That's right. I'll take Cowboy Talk for 600, please. A rawhide artist was a ranch hand who was good with this branding implement. What is a branding iron? There it is, right there, right there. Precisely. Pick again. Oh, okay, if you're downright mean, your veins are filled with this reptile's blood. Right. Cowboy Talk 1000. This term for a southwestern tavern is Spanish. What is a cantina? Precisely. Pick again. I'll take crossword clues K for 200. Scotsman's skirt. Four letters. What is a kilt? Very good. You pick again. Clumsy clod. Five letters. It's a klutz. Very good. I'll take crossword clues K for 600, please. Accolades. Perhaps for judo. Five letters. Oh. What are kudos? Correct. Oh, kudos, of course. Player three, it's your turn. All right. 
NFL home stadiums for 200. In Vesco Field at Mile High is home to this team. For the Denver Broncos. Oops. Yes. I'll take NFL home stadiums for Player one, one, it's your turn. For home games, this team goes marching into the Superdome. For the Louisiana Saints, or the New Orleans Saints. Definitely. There we go. Hey, you're still up, player one. NFL home stadium 600. Arrowhead Stadium is home to this AFC team. Oh. Who are the Chiefs? That's it. All the Kansas City Chiefs, yeah. Your choice, player two. Secret identities for 200. All right. Clark Kent. Who's Superman? Yes. Um, uh, secret identities for 400, please. Over to you, player one. Diana Prince. Who is Wonder Woman? Oh, no, no. Regrettably, Not no. Not Wonder Bread, Wonder Woman! Who is Wonder Woman? Dang it. Correct. I hit the button too soon. It's okay. Player three, your turn. It's okay, it's okay. World Geography for 200. The Niagara River flows about 34 miles from Lake Erie North to this great lake. What is Lake Ontario? Right there. Very good. I'll take uh, World Junk for 400. Player one, it's your turn. This country's city of Pusan has an average of 54 inches of precipitation a year. What is South Korea? You bet. Uh, let's take World Joker for six. Answer, the Daily Double. Daily Double, please. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. This Middle East country has a space launch site in the Negev Desert. What is Israel? Precisely. Yeah. Prussia's longtime capital, it became capital of a united Germany in 1871. Uh, what is Berlin? That's it. Right. You're still in control of the board, Player One. Except for its coast, Bangladesh is almost entirely surrounded by this large Asian country. What is India? Correct. Ran, ran the world geography category, no problems. Cross for clues, Cape Radar, please. Kim Creator, seven letters. Who is Kipling? Rudyard Kipling. Correct. Pick again. Pasta, or pie preparation place. Seven letters. What is the kitchen? Very good. You pick again. NFL Home Stadium's 800. CMGI Field replaced Foxborough Stadium as this team's home arena. Oh. What are the Patriots? Right. Oh. Player two, what'll it be? Hodgepodge for 200. Okay. It takes two of these cubes to play Monopoly and five to play Yahtzee. For dice? Right. I'll take uh, Hodgepodge 400. Player one, what'll it be now? This four-word motto has appeared on U.S. coins since 1864. What is in God we trust? Yes! I'll take a uh, hodgepodge for 600, please. Of springtide, neaptide, or peptide, the one that's not related. What is peptide? Precisely. Pick again. Radar, 
In 1997, this chess champ was blue over his defeat in a match by IBM's Deep Blue Computer. All right, I'm gonna say it was Gary Kasparov. Right, pick again. We'll close it out. The Roosevelt Memorial Bridge connects Lubeck, Maine to Campobello Island in this country. What now is Canada? Right, pick again. Correct, pick again. NFL Home Stadium 1000. This team's Ericsson Stadium is located in Charlotte. For the Carolina, Carolina um, Panthers. Precisely. Carolina Panthers, yeah, that's right. Pick again. I'll take uh, secret identities for 600. Dick Grayson. Who is Nightwing? Exactly. Nightwing. All right. If you would, player three. Sure about that one. Secret identities for 800. Radios Lamont Cranston. Who is the shadow? Right. And the last clue. The final answer on this board is David Banner. Uh, who is the Incredible Hulk? You bet. 17-8 at the end of the Jeopardy round. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> You're number one, player one. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Let's play. Let's check out the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Let's see it. American history. That's a good one. Another crossword clue. Crossword clues with the letter R this time in the letter quotation marks. R. Okay. All right. A walk in the park. Who won the Oscar? Great question. Transportation. And our last category. Country Boys. You start us off this time, Player 3. Transportation for 400. All right. Non-rigid airships, like the ones used for advertising, are more commonly called this. What are blimps? Well done, yes. Transportation for 800, please. Player one, it's your turn. Russia's Lunacod One was the first wheeled vehicle used here. What is the moon? Right. I'll take uh, transportation for 12. In 1993, Barbara Harmer became the first woman to co-pilot this supersonic plane. What is the Concorde? Yes. Oh, okay, they took it. All right. The Baltimore type of this fast sailing ship originated in the Chesapeake Bay region in the 1800s. Nobody? What is a schooner? Yes, indeed. Oh, okay. Okay, player three. A walk in the park for 400. In 1989, George Bush had the DEA buy drugs in a park across from this house to show on TV. What is the White House? Correct. That's the one. Player one, what'll it be I'll now? Take a walk in the park for 800, please. The Bridge of Perfect Wisdom is a landmark of Bay High Park in this Chinese capital. What is Beijing? Right, pick again. A walk in the park, 1200. Regent's Park in this British capital was named for the position held by the future King George IV. What is London? Correct, pick again.
back again. Welcome to part 1600. You can follow streets named for King George V and King David to Independence Park in this Middle East city. What is Jerusalem? Correct. All right. Um, welcome to Park 2000, please. A giant Ferris wheel graces this Austrian city's Prater, opened to the public by Joseph II in 1766. What is Vienna? Very good. You pick again. Transportation for 2000. This rugged vehicle may derive its name from the abbreviation for general purpose. It's a Jeep. Yes. I'll take American history for 400, please. In September 1964, the Warren Commission concluded that he acted alone in JFK's assassination. Who is Lee Harvey Oswald? Yes, indeed. American history for four, or 800 plus, I'm sorry. Total number of stars on the U.S. flag in 1777. What is 13? Very good. You pick again. We'll stick with American history for 1,200. On December 20th, 1860, as a result of Lincoln's election, this state seceded from the Union. No, sorry. What is South Carolina? Well done, yes. Oh, South Carolina, my bad. All right, player three, what'll it be? Who won the Oscar for 400? Good question. Al Pacino for Scent of a Woman, Robert Downey Jr. for Chaplin, Denzel Washington for Malcolm X. I believe Al Pacino won for Scent of a Woman, so I'm gonna say who's Al Pacino. Hey, you're correct. Uh, who won the Oscar for 800, please? Player one, it's your turn. Tom Cruise for Jerry Maguire, Jeffrey Rush for Shine, Rafe Fiennes for The English Patient. Uh, I believe it was Jeffrey Rush, so I'm going to say who was Jeffrey Rush. Correct. Pick again. Who won the Oscar 1200? Brad Pitt for 12 Monkeys, James Cromwell for Babe, Kevin Spacey for The Usual Suspects. Who is Kevin Spacey? Very good. Who won the Oscar for 1600? Answer, the Daily Double. <laughs> Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. Jodie Foster for Nell, Jessica Lange for Blue Sky, Winona Ryder for Little Women. Who is Jessica Lange? Correct. Robert Loggia for Jagged Edge, Eric Roberts for Runaway Train, Don Amici for Cocoon. Who is Don Amici? Exactly. I'll take American History for 1600. Fleeing the capital on August 24th, 1814, this first lady took a Gilbert Stewart portrait of Washington with her. Uh, who is Martha Washington? Or, no, no, no. Um, who is, uh, let's say who is Dolly Madison instead. Yes. Good. Since 1937, this military post has been the site of the United States Gold Bullion Depository. What is Fort Knox? Precisely. Good deal. Pick again. Give me Country Boys for 400, please. In 1998, this superstar reissued his first six albums as part of a limited series box set. Who is Garth Brooks? Precisely. Pick again. Country Boys 800. 
He starred with wife Lisa Hartman in the TV movie Still Holding On, The Legend of Cadillac Jack. Who is with left? Right, pick again. Though he boasted of being an Okie from Muskogee, he's really from Bakersfield, California. Right. Okay. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. Sadly, this singer, who had a hit with Driving My Life Away, passed away in 1998. Who is Eddie Rabbit? Correct. <laughs> Colorful young country heartthrob, whose hits include Rebecca Lynn and Love is the Right Place. Who is Brian White? Right you are. Crossword clues are 400. He spun straw into gold. 15 letters. Who is Rumpelstiltskin? Right. Midnight Rider. 6 letters. No, sorry. Who is Revere? Oh, right. Right you are. The Midnight Rider, Paul Revere. That makes sense. My bad. Player three, you choose. Crossword clues are for 1,200. Movie boxer Balboa. Five letters. Who is Rocky? Hey, you're correct. Player one, what'll it be now? Precedes nose and numerals. Five letters. What is Roman? That's it exactly. And finishing off this round, enrollment record keeper at a university. Nine letters. What is a registrar? Correct. Registrar, that's right. All right, that's it. Let's check out the scores to see how the players are doing at the end of this double jeopardy round. You're number one, player one. Congratulations. That time, folks, final Jeopardy. We're going to take a look at the category, then we'll give you a few seconds to think about your wager. All right. Law enforcement. Go ahead, make your wager. 7,200. Here is the final Jeopardy answer. This state police force developed from bands of Indian fighters who protected American settlers in Mexico. Okay. Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player two, was? You picked the Texas Rangers. Player two, I see that you like to live dangerously. But you're right. Way to go. I'm going to end up with $150,000. Your question, player three, was? Oh, no. How much did you wager? You can't win them all, can you? Player one, what was your question? 
in a word, yes. And the wager was? You are all to be commended for your play. Our big winner, player one. See you again for another game of Jeopardy. Goodbye.